This land means a lot to me. Um, it has been in the family since 1858. It's been passed down from generation to generation. I'm the fourth generation on the property. We have the fifth and the sixth generation now uh, working on the, the land. Our father and our mother both emulated the values that they inherited from their family. The history of Robert Young Vineyards goes back to um, our mom and dad, Gertrude and Robert Young. And they started this um, enterprise together when they were married in 1940. The Robert Young family planting Cabernet Sauvignon in Alexander Valley goes back to 1963. My dad was very proactive in the prune operation that he had on the ranch and he was all, always working with uh, University of California Davis to do different trials in the prunes. And so by doing that, he, he became quite friendly with the local farm advisor and uh, the farm advisor came to dad and suggested that he planted uh, about, I think it was 14 acres of Cabernet Sauvignon, 1963, and that was the first Cabernet Sauvignon planted in Alexander Valley. My father was always uh, an innovator in anything he uh, started. Uh, we used to pick prunes by hand, then later on in life we got a, a prune picking machine and automated that, had a prune dehydrator and automated that. Uh, like when I was young and I went to Europe in the 70s, uh, I toured Europe and I toured the vineyards and I noticed that all the vineyards over there were four foot, six foot uh, rows. And I was wondering, man, why is all these rows so short? They have little tractors, little pruners. I mean, everything, all the equipment is so small. When I came back home, I asked my brother, I said, you know, geez, we're replanting our vineyards from 12 foot wide, wide rows. How come we don't plant to, you know, narrower rows? He says, well, we don't have the uh, equipment to do that. I said, well, I said, we could make the equipment. The Robert Young clone was uh, developed in 1985. Uh, my dad and I, uh, talked about this a lot. We had a lot of Chardonnay growing on the property. We knew that we were going to someday start to replant those vineyards and we wanted them to be cleaner. And so uh, they didn't have the viruses so that the fruit could ripen a little bit earlier in the season and not be susceptible to rains that would come in the fall. And in 1995, we were selling grapes at that time uh, to many wineries, but uh, also to Arrowwood in Glen Ellen. And, uh, as I was delivering grapes to Dick, I told him that I was thinking about starting a winery. And Dick suggested, well, if you're really serious, Fred, I'll give you a hand. Well, I'd like to produce the best uh, wine that we could produce off of our uh, vineyard. And he suggested that we do a uh, Bordeaux-style blend. And my brother came up with the name Scion. Scion means descendant or heir. And it also means where you have a rootstock and you graft the bud to that's the scion, because uh, we are the scions of Robert Young and the offshoots. Well, we are very committed to sustainable farming practices. We became certified as a wine grape grower in 2011, so we were a fairly early adapter. Our family is committed to sustainable farming. We are on the leading edge of it now, and uh, we plan to move forward and to continue to be in the leading edge. Really a great treasure. I can't really put it in words because it's something that's more felt, a place of grounding here. Um, you know, I feel home. I see that my grandchildren are catching that sense of home. Oh, I have great hopes for the next gen. Uh, I'm so thrilled to see um, the children to come, come of age and begin to blossom in their own rights and have their own interests uh, in the business. This land means everything to me. Uh, born and raised here, I wanted my children to be able to uh, 
enjoy uh, the land as much as I did. We have been here for 163 years in the same spot. Uh, the saying carry on came from a board meeting that uh, we had uh, several years ago. Uh, it was lunchtime, uh, the meeting was going long, and so he got up and sauntered off, and as he left, he said, carry on. Just felt like he was telling us we were doing a good job and carry on. It makes me realize that I'm just um, you know, one of many people who have lived on this property and it's, um, I feel confident that um, the next gen will you know, do the best that they can with this. I love to tell the story, the story of our family and the things that we've um, gone through because I think we can learn a lot from the past and um, we can carry that into the future. So in that regard, I say carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on, my wayward son. There'll be peace when.